Maybe you received a text message that was important enough that you wanted to pass it along. For example, it could have been a photo of your newborn grandchild or news that your son received a big promotion. You can easily forward those messages to another number and turn on the message forwarding feature to receive your text on your other devices. This can be a game changer because you'll never miss an important text message again. And that's what we'll be talking about today on Ellen's Tips for iOS. If you haven't hit the subscribe button or notification bell, now would be a good time to do that. Stick around to the end where I have a bonus tip on sending an automatic text message. Let's get started. Let's start with forwarding a text message to another number. You'll come into your applications and select the text messaging icon and then select the uh, conversation that you know the message is located in that you want to forward. Now you'll push and hold on that message that you want to forward to someone else. And we could go ahead and just copy it and then paste it into the message, but there's an easier way to do this. Select the more option, and now you'll see that a check mark has been placed next to that message we want to forward, but now you have the option to select any of these messages on the left-hand side and send them as well. You can even select the messages that you typed in. So if I select some other messages, and once I have all of the messages that I want to forward on, I can come down to the right corner and select the arrow for forwarding. You can also delete those messages that you've selected. I'm going to go ahead and tap on forward. And now all I need to do is type in the name or names of the individuals that I want to forward this to and go ahead and tap send. Now let's take a look at forwarding text messages to our other devices. To ensure you never miss an important message, you can set up forwarding from your iPhone to your other Apple devices. This is convenient if you have an iPad or a Mac and want to receive messages that were sent to your iPhone. All of your devices need to use the same Apple ID as the one you're using on your iPhone. So to do this, we'll go ahead and we'll open the settings app. And now we'll scroll down until we see messages. I'll tap on messages and scroll until you see text message forwarding. Now you will toggle on the switches of the devices that you want to receive the messages from your iPhone. Once you toggle those switches on, those messages will be sent to that device. If after doing this, you realize that it's overwhelming to receive your messages on those devices, all you need to do is come back in and toggle off that switch. I promised a bonus tip at the beginning of this video on how to send an automatic text message reply from your iPhone. Apple doesn't have this feature baked into the software, but this is an easy workaround. Maybe Apple will release something soon. So how do we set this up? Well, we're going to use Do Not Disturb While Driving. This feature automatically lets you respond to messages with a canned response that says, I'm driving with focus turned on. I'll see your message when I get where I'm going. Since we want to send an automatic message when we're not driving, here's how to set that up. You'll open the settings app. You'll choose focus. And now you'll tap on driving. And then let's walk through the settings that you want to set up here. Under allowed notifications, these would be the contacts or people that you want to get through to you that um, their message might be important enough that you need to see it. So you would go in and add these contacts. I'm going to tap on driving in the upper left corner to come back. Under focus state, I have this option turned off because what happens here is 
once the message is sent out that says you can't be disturbed, well, there's a little message underneath that says notify anyway. Well, since we don't want to be disturbed and we've already set up the contacts that we're going to allow to get through this, then I don't want them to be able to tap on notify anyway. So I've turned share focus state off. I'm going to tap on driving again. Now I'm going to come down to auto reply. Who do I want to receive this message? Well, I want all of my contacts to receive this message. And then where it says auto reply message, you can type in any message that you want to be sent to these individuals. So I've just typed in, I'm busy right now, but we'll get back to you when I'm finished. And so anybody that sends me a text message when I have this focus turned on is going to receive an automatic reply back that says, I'm busy right now and we'll get back to you when I'm finished. I'm going to tap on driving again. And so that's pretty much it. That's all you need to set up to have this uh, focus work. Now let me show you how to set it up inside of the control center so that you can toggle this on and off very quickly. To, to activate uh, your automatic text message, you'll swipe down from the upper right corner of your screen to access the control center, locate focus, push and hold on that, and then go ahead and just tap on driving and this will automatically turn this focus on. Now anyone who sends you a text message will receive an automatic reply. When finished using Do Not Disturb while driving, remember to come back into the control center and turn it off. If you're afraid you'll forget, you can always set an automatic timer so that you remember. Forwarding text messages and sending automatic replies are helpful features. Let me know in the comments if you tried using them. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.